Right, hey guys, welcome back. Um, I had a few of you on one of the other videos just ask a few questions about how my breathing is going. So I thought I'd do a quick video just to show you what's been going on because things admittedly haven't been going to plan. So stick around and I'll show you how things have been going. Right, so in the last week or so since Blackpool had um, a bit of clear out and a shop around of a lot of pads and as you can see sorry about the shaky camera as you can see in a lot of these now I've started to get the acts together and um, they're actually paired up which for a lot of that last video they wasn't paired up so there's some good news um, this is the way for most of my pairs now um, massive help to that is I restricted um, some of the uh, purchases as you can see up here look oh, I've literally just got an old curtain in place to stop the boxes the purchase um, which basically meant they could only place they could go to perch was like these V perches up here and obviously the nest boxes uh, so that cut out a lot of it uh, I took it upon myself to basically only go and feed um, in the nest boxes uh, so that helps out massively uh, so yeah that's more or less where we're at most of these paired up they've been chasing back to the nest boxes um, for a week or so and that's where we're at uh, I haven't got any eggs at the minute um, but hopefully by the end of this week uh, they should they should be down on eggs at the end of this week so I'm going to Finish tidying up in here. I've got some scraping to do and some sweeping out to do. Put some of the loft wipe back down. Um, so I'll catch you in the second, and I'll catch you in the second. So breeding Murray's birds has never been a strong point of mine at all. Uh, so come back from Blackpool, I had a real good sit round and think about what was going wrong. There's so these birds had the nests, they had food, water, etc., whatever you want to say. Um, and obviously they were going down and breeding. So I needed to look at what the reasons were for all that. So in short, I needed to make sure that these birds were paired up, were happy, content, healthy had somewhere to nest and make sure that's what they were interested in doing so i separated them for a week i rejigged everything and separated my pairs for a week um cocked in that side hands in this side and basically just started again uh i took the opportunity then to put up these so basically they're just old curtains I got from the charity shop uh, I'll put those up to cover up perches um, they were a bit short in places so I you know just put in um, some old mess fronts to stop them doing that I also then remixed um, the breeding food it's 50% breeders and um, you can see it in here, it's like 50% barley. I've got as much of that as they want to eat. What I also did at that point uh, was put down um, chicken pellets, chicken layers pellets in the hot pot. So I've got that down all day uh, so they can access that whenever they want to as well. So they got the nest boxes down, um, they got the food, um, 
because one of the things I look for when going into breeding season is to increase food. Um, so I was restricted where they can perch, so they were getting distracted while the perch is. So you've got the nest boxes. Um, the birds appeared healthy in themselves. Uh, I haven't suffered any health issues. Um, so I then let them back in together. Uh, opened up all the nest boxes so that they could choose their own boxes. And then this last week, um, they've basically been on the ball, really. Um, I'm going to move you from over there so you can come with me and have a look. Uh, obviously, they've all got access to the Avery still. Um, but they've literally been going into full on breeding mode, calling the birds to the nests. I think he's got them all covered. He has. He's down there, look. Oops, kicking the door. Where is he? He's hiding down there, look. Right, come from out the back of there. But yeah, so that's that's where we're at. The cocks have gone into overdrive, um, chasing the hens. He is currently um, refused the nest box despite there being enough nest boxes and has chose to have his nest up on the top of there. So I've provided him with a bowl. Um, so yeah, that's where we're at. So fingers crossed now. Uh, in this week now that we but anyway as I was saying they're nesting up there I've got Strag and 810 down here um, but yeah these are all being fed in the boxes now on the breeder mix um, I've got this old boy in the Pensant's hen oh, this old boy in the Pensant's hen down in this box and I think that's Blackpool over there in that box uh, he was originally up there, but he's decided uh, to go for that one down there now. But yeah, so hopefully, um, just to wrap things up a bit, uh, in the next in the next week or so, I should have eggs. Um, failing that, I've really got to sort some account because there's no way I can go into another young bird season, uh, you know, relying on able to give me young birds. Um, because it is, you know, it's a major part of the game, um, breeding young birds. And how can I expect to uh, develop a team and stuff if I can't breed very young birds? So, yeah, that's literally something to think about. Um, leads me something to think about as well. So, I shall hopefully update you very soon with some eggs. See you in the next one.